Number five. Number five, it's interesting. You have two different types of staccato. I would take a little note here, okay? I would take mm -hmm. a little note there on the exercise. In the first line, you have crotchets, right? And they're, yeah. uh, they're not supposed to be fast. Uh, anyway, not too fast. Because in the first line, you pluck the staccato. Look at, look at me now. You pluck it, you see? You put your energy in the keys with your fingers and the wrists just lightly bounce off as a passive reaction. However, in the second line, you have quavers, which means that is ta ta ti 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 ta and in that case, I want the wrist to become active, active, and to knock, to have a knocking motion. Look at that. So, first line, crotchet, slow, plucking, plucking the staccato, and the, the wrist is passive and bounce off lightly as a passive reaction. Second line, ti 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 quavers, the wrist becomes active and you knock the staccato. You also have to make a little adjustment in the line of the wrist when it's uh, this chord and when it's that chord, you open up a little bit, you see? See? That's one line, that's another line. That's one line, that's another line, okay? So there is a little, adju there is a little adjustment in the line of the arm to be made there. And I leave it at that because that's two rather, imp three rather important exercises. Number five is very important because it's two different types of staccato. Number four is very important because it's a slurred pair of notes with the wrist being allowed to drop and bounce. And number two is very important because it's about the passage of the thumb. So particularly important here are number two, number four, and number five. Do you, and I'm gonna stop the video now.